Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Trip, and today up, we got a special guest, yeah. Team Summer X1. What's up, guys? Um, what's going on? Uh, Steven's channel. Never been on here. Like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm new to Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, today, actually, he's going to be showcasing a deck that I'm personally not a fan of that he told me is really good. It's really good. Really I, good. I don't even know what the name is. What, what name is it? Dragma something? No, Dogmatica. Dragma, Dragma Balls, baby! Good pen best deck! Let's go! <laughs> I'm probably more interested than anyone to see this guy. I just want to see what they do. Anything you want to say before right. we get into the video? Uh, no, man. Uh, thank you so much. Check out my channel if you guys haven't checked already. Eh? And before we get started, guys, if you guys haven't gotten this beautiful play mat, make sure you guys Oof. get it today. Link down below. Trivgaming.com. The best man in the game, right? Tune Electrum. Tune Electrum? The second best man in the game. Second best man? Slow his words all the way around. Pen on, best man. deck, baby. Let's go. This is our second Pen best, second. though. Second best. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's begin. So first and foremost, we'll play, of course, Ecclesia. She's one of the best uh, Dragmas or Dogmatica monsters in the entire deck. Basically, she has ability, cannot be destroyed by battle, with a monster special from the extra deck. So she has a built-in protection built in herself, which is really good. Uh, all you need to know is that when this card is normal summon or special summon, you're going to search a Dogmatica monster uh, or Dogmatica card, right? This dog Dogmatica card. Uh, yes, not monsters. Yes, I always search maximums anyways. But this card searches any Dogmatica card directly from your deck to your hand. So if you're missing the trap and you already have Maximus uh, in the hand, you can search the trap, which is also yeah. another form of interruption for yeah. the deck, uh, which is really good. So Ecclesia is really great. Also, if you have an extra deck monster on the field, on the field, so if your opponent has an extra deck monster and you and, and you don't, you can easily special summon her from the hand. Mm -hmm. And once she's normal summon or special summon, she gets to search any Dogmatica cards directly mm -hmm. from your deck to your hand. So she's really good, especially you want to summon her during the end phase of, of Titanic Clyde's ability, so you can easily get the uh, Skarm, uh, the Fleur de Lis search uh, in the end phase. So mm -hmm. triple copies of her. If you guys have any Prismatic Rares or Starlight Rares, <laughs> let me know. I'm willing to buy all three. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next, I don't know why this card is so cheap. This card is like 30 bucks right now. If you guys haven't gotten this card, this card is like insane. Basically, what he does, uh, you can banish a, any extra deck monster in your graveyard, Link, XC, Synchro, uh, Fusion, whatever, in your in your graveyard, special from this card from your hand. And you can uh, and you can activate its ability by sending two extra deck monsters with different names from your extra deck to the graveyard, and your opponent has to do the same. So that's the only downside. So if your opponent's playing Herald, dot deck, like, you know, yeah. Dragma, Necroz, uh, you're pretty prepared, giving them a, a free plus one, which is kind of unfortunate. Wait, but, so wouldn't it be genius for every deck to just play two Nittis from now on? That's what I'm saying. That, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if... If definitely, you know, that would be really smart. If I uh, heard you know, that, like to, players like to <laughs> like to counter this deck, you can definitely play uh, two Entis uh, in the extra deck. But the the problem is is that you can't send double Entis to the grave. It needs, oh, to, be, it needs to be different names, oh, okay. right? So if you can at least counter that by playing at least one Entis mm -hmm. or something like that, that will still be pretty Knight. good. Or or like the Skull Knight or even Omega and things like that. It's pretty great. Yeah. But basically, uh, it's one of your main combo facilitators for the entire deck, especially with the Dear Servant. You want to summon this card by banishing any extra deck monster, and that's why you got free fodder uh, with cards like Amirage and also Secure Gardener, especially Amirage. It's going to the graveyard mm -hmm. for free, and that's why Invoked Engine, which I'm going to showcase you guys, oh. mesh really well yeah. because Alistair already guarantees you that free Link monster yeah. in the graveyard. You can summon uh, Maximus uh, to her hand, right? Okay, uh, now I see hand. exactly what you're talking right, about. Right, so you see uh, the, yeah. the synergy that yeah. the deck has together. But Triple Dragmas, uh, you know, Dragma Mag Maximus, absolutely mandatory to play in the deck. Next off, to round off for your Dragma cards, uh, the one Fleur de Lis, uh, the Knight. Uh, this card right here is the Effect Dealer and imp slash Imperm, but better. So basically what this card does is that if there's an extra deck monster in the field, it's a quick effect. You can special this card from your hand. So it can be your turn or your opponent's turn. Then once special summon, you can activate this effect to set a gate one effect monster on the field doesn't target so once dragoon comes mm -hmm. out a lot of people are asking oh how do you beat dragoon well you summon this card negate dragoon good, uh, good luck have fun you know what i mean so you summon this card and it's the card that you're going to search out of the end phase using ecclesia which i'll showcase you guys a combo so usually what you do is that you summon ecclesia during the end phase activate her effect search fleur directly from your deck to her hand so you have an additional hand trap in the hand with the 15 12 15 negates hand traps that you have in the deck right so fleur is just really good but only one copy of this card in the deck you kind of never want to draw this card you always want to search this card either off near servant or ecclesia mm -hmm. uh, which is really nice so that's pretty much rounds up for the neck uh for the dragma cards no need to further explain uh but next we're gonna play of course the invoked engine the best uh, i've engine. never seen this card in my life what's it do wow some of this card you search in vacation and then you just win the game from there on end and that's why the deck works really well it's a bunch of one card combo decks like alistair and i'll showcase you guys the, the dear servant in a sec it just worked really well together. And the fact that uh, now Nibiru is a joke. It should be a joke now. A lot of people overhype Nibiru in today's Marks. metagame. Like, like, oh, Sam, you can't play around Nibiru. And, like, in decks like this, it's, it's, it's a beauty because 
Mech Mechaba is going to be summoned on your fourth summon, mm -hmm. and the Beerus has does does not do anything Later, yeah. against this deck, and, uh, and 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 people are actually straying away from any hand traps now yeah, because of Numerons, because yeah. of Numerons, right? So the only hand trap that you have to worry about is probably Ash Blossom. Ghostwalker. Uh, so if that affects you, yeah, but yeah, but it doesn't. Ghostwalker doesn't affect this deck at all. But yeah. Anyways, uh, Triple Alistair, absolutely mandatory. Uh, next off, your hand traps. Okay, so Triple Imperm. Everybody should be play, uh, should be playing this deck. Uh, this card in, in your deck, the best generic hand trap, triple ash blossom, and I'm playing uh, triple effect builder right here. So only because it's, it's ulti, right? Yeah, man, and and also actually, it's it's really important because um, some 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 people that I see play this deck play this deck absolutely incorrectly. Sometimes you see a hand with like Maximus and like two veilers, like this is already full combo, or like uh, like Maximus mm. with two ash. That's already full combo. Like your hand can be any other thing. How? But as long as you you draw a monster with with less than a thousand attack and Maximus and any discard oh. card, you pretty much have game because you're gonna okay. go summon Ash, make Amirage, uh, you know, make Amirage, mm -hmm. uh, right here, uh, make Secure Gardna, and then you summon Maximus. And you okay, uh, just super up. quick, uh, because I, no one in the world except for people actually play this deck or that actually research the new cards actually know what they do. Right. So what's just one Maximus? If you have one Maximus and nothing else, the rest of your hand is hand traps. What's yeah. one Maximus get for you? Like, what's that even do? Uh, the Winda. Oh, what? Yeah, like Winda, yeah. It gets you Winda. So, like, I'll... I'll okay, I'll show show you guys, at the end, show yeah. at the end. Yeah, I'll show you guys I'm that combo. I'm but intrigued. Yes, there you go. Uh, but that's pretty much for the hand traps. Um, uh, if you guys want to play Veiler, um, I think Gamma is good. You guys can also play yeah. Gamma if you guys are like. Can't normal that. Ga Gamma is really nice. But anyways... Good against Axel. Triple far for a Servant. <laughs> the Dear Servant right here. Uh, basically, you send any extra deck monster to the graveyard. Search any uh, Dogmatica monster directly from protector hand with attack equal to the less than that extra deck monster sent to the graveyard. Just like everything? Uh, which is literally everything. The whole deck is like the monsters are 1500 attacks. So you're mm -hmm. searching Maximus every time with this card. But the only downside is that you cannot special summon cards from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. But who cares? You're fusing something on your opponent's turn anyway. So uh, triple into your servant, one card combo. I'll showcase you guys at the end. Uh, next, of course, triple meltdown, terraforming. You, know, you need to see Alistair. Show invocations mm -hmm. uh, right here. You draw more often if you're playing LTs, by the way. So Facts. you got to, and then, you know, draw cards, triple desires. Wow, your deck's beautiful. Uh, you know what I mean? So desires right here. Um, uh, I'm playing three of every single card, copies of every single card in the deck. So I don't see the logic of not playing desires. Um, like Steven, this guy loves desires. Like the best, best the best card ever. It just says spot of greed. Exactly. And since, you know, your deck, like I said, rolls around one card combos, um, mm -hmm. you just need to see that one card and you pretty much... Yeah. Uh, just win the game, right? So if you can increase the consistency of your deck by, you know, playing uh, Desires, you go ahead. This is not a neck neck There's nine. no reason this why is a, this anyone is a plus in the world. One. Yeah, we should not so play good. this. So uh, good. If you guys are afraid to play this, if you guys have tactic... Uh, no, 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 no. Play Triple Desires. Tactics Talents, you guys can play that instead. Or but, you can play both, but please play Desires, yeah. guys, or else like unsubscribe. In, in, in my video, I play Triple Tactics Talent, uh, but throughout testing even further, like, I've been tweaking the deck, I felt like Desires is just way better. Mm -hmm. Because, like, Triple Tactics Talent is like, yo, ask me so I can pot of greed. Like, it doesn't kind yeah, of... You know make, what? I think right now, as long like, as Axel goes on, I don't think anyone in the world can main deck that card. Yeah, exactly. In my opinion. So, but maybe, like, in a future format. I'd ensure that uh, you don't get ashed. Uh, triple call by. Really Ash, great. like, really hurts you? Uh, sometimes, I... Well, on what card? Like, sometimes, like, you need the, the Dear Servant to resolve, you know? So oh, that way okay, you can set up okay. your board. So, okay. uh, call by the Grave is, I believe, okay. is just mandatory okay. uh, in this deck. Yeah, it's uh, really next. good against Pendulum. You could uh, call by my uh, Magician Souls and then do nothing, because Pendulum's yeah. deck. Let's go. <laughs> Next, I'm playing for a minute drop list right here. This is the new Defiant Meta card in Rise of Duelist. I think everybody should be maining this card. It's one of the decks, uh, it's one of the cards that outs multiple cards, especially Zexel. And the really wonderful thing about this card is that you activate this card, you discard a card, send a card from your hand to the grave, hand refuse to the graveyard. Uh, you negate up to the amount of monsters on the on your opponent's field, up to the amount of cards sent. And your opponent cannot activate cards in response to this activation, depending on the cards that you send. So let's say you activate for a minute droplet. And you mm -hmm. discard, let's say, an effect builder. Yeah. Your opponent cannot attack Galaxy, negate Forbidden Droplet yeah. because you send effect builder to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Effect builder is a monster, uh, so they can't attack Galaxy and negate this. So it's really great, uh, really great card right here to negate multiple cards on the field, uh, which is really nice. So mm -hmm. triple Forbidden Droplets, and last but not least for the traps, uh, alongside three Imperm, you're gonna play, of course, the Shadal Shizm. This right here is kind of weird because you're playing zero Shadal cards other mm -hmm. than this card uh, in your deck, but this card is a kind of like um, Miracle Fusion. For Shadal, so you can easily search this card uh, with App Cologne and also Construct, which is really nice. And then you can just uh, Miracle Fusion effect during your opponent's turn, and it's a continuous trap card. 
uh, by the way, uh, which is insane, which is you access to your Shadal monsters wow. uh, from your extra deck. So this card is insane. It's so good. Yeah, cool. what? Right, so you basically get window on your opponent's turn. So this card's great. Wait, what's, what's the last bar? It cannot attack directly, but that's pretty okay. cool. But who cares? Yeah. And then last but not least, we're going to play, of course, the one dog Dogmatica Punishment. What's this? You send one extra deck monster uh, from your extra deck to the graveyard. Destroy one monster opponent's field with attack equal or less. But yeah, but you can't, uh, but you can't special for the extra deck until the, yeah, who cares? Idea. Like, yeah. literally, like on your turn, you activate this, send Entis, you destroy yeah. two cards. Yeah. Like, I don't, this card is literally broken. You can also search this using Ecclesia if you really wanted to, which is really good. I'm gonna say this super quick. I thought this deck sucks. It's actually really good. Oh yeah, my it's, God. it's fire, man. And that's pretty much it for the main deck. Let's go off to the extra deck real quick. Let me organize this for you. Sam, right. bro. You convinced me. Maybe I won't play the deck. No, honestly, Perform. man. A deck that's consistent, you know, why, why not play it? So, Shadal's Engine, of course, Aklon, Construct, Winda. This is all you need. The really yeah. wonderful thing about these cards is that they have utility. And the great utility that they have in the deck is obviously whenever they send to the graveyard, they get effects. And especially Aklon, you send it to the graveyard using uh, Maximus. You basically can search the Shizm and then discard Shizm. And then you can just use the Deer Servant uh, to send Construct to add Shizm back. Like, it's just so many synergy mm -hmm. that the deck has. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragmos with Shadals, which is really great. So, Winda is also another win condition that a lot of decks yeah. struggle against. They do, yeah. Nah, like, for example, against uh, Ana Mansipator. So yeah, it's literally yeah, game. They, you, they, Winda they, pass. They can't, they, they, can't, they can't out the Winda. Uh, next, Satana Clyde right here. The most important effect is that whenever this card is something you ever just turn during the end phase, you get to basically Skarm, search any Dogmatica, a monster directly from your deck to your hand, or special summon it to your side of the field. Hmm. So, you special summon Ecclesia off him. So really Scarm great. for Dogmatica cards. Yes. So next, Double Mechaba. Yeah. Uh, Aguidas. This card is really good at mm -hmm. OTK. Uh, Kaliga. And Purgatrio. You guys all know what these cards do. Mm -hmm. Off to your links. Secure Gardena. Uh, Amirage right here. Really great for your Alistair plays. And this is why Alistair, like I mentioned earlier, works really well with this deck. It just guarantees you that Link monster hit the graveyard immediately for your Maximus combos. So mm -hmm. the card is really great. Uh, next off for your Interruptions, of course, Double Entis. Right here, off your traps, and also Maximus going second. This deck has no problem because you easily break boards. I'm also mm -hmm. I'm playing the one Pegasus Attic Nister. This card right here is a unicorn. Uh, you can manage this card from the graveyard, shuffle back one card mm -hmm. from your point, field into the deck whenever a card you control is destroyed, uh, which is really good. So it's like kind of like another interruption, yeah. which is nice. And I'm playing the one Skull Knight uh, right What's here. Uh, you can banish this card from the graveyard, destroy one monster on the field. So these cards are like your, uh, you know, interruption cards, oh, yeah. uh, which is really great. So I'm actually might cut Pegasus out for maybe Omega, so I can, uh, you know, recycle, recycle these cards yeah. and to the extra deck with Omega as well. So I might cut this for Omega, but these cards right here are just really good at breaking boards. So let's go out with the combo real quick. All right, guys. So this is the main two card combo that you want to showcase in the deck. Um, usually the Deer Servant is already one combo in itself, but I felt like the deck maximizes Alistair to its fullest potential. And I can also play around hand trash, which is really good. So mm -hmm. without further ado, let's begin. Remember, this is the exact same combo with Deer Servant, but you're just starting out with Alistair first. So you can open up with this one card combo, but these two just work really well. So first, normal summon Alistair, activate Alistair's effect. Uh, you're gonna search your invocation uh, directly from your deck to your mm -hmm. hand. Then you're gonna link Alistair away for the Amirage. Link Amirage away for the Secure Gardener. And now you're gonna go Invocation. Okay, banish the secure and also Alistair right here for the Mechaba. All right, Mechaba is going to be in defense because you play around uh, Lightning Storm. So right here, um, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you can't play around the Biru. So let's go. Let's, let's, let's recount. Let's do the match. So one summon, two summon, uh, three summon, four summon off Mechaba. So Mechaba is your fourth summon. Mm -hmm. And now let's say you just only have these two cards. Uh, in your hand, right? In the Year Servant Alistair, activate Invocation, shuffle this back into the deck, mm -hmm. add Alistair to hand. Yeah. Now you have Alistair to the to ditch yeah. for the Mechaba. Exactly. Yeah. So now you're in the Bureau Proof, you're pretty much yeah. uh, good, good to go. Good to go. Yeah, you're pretty much good to go. So now you go into Deer Servant. Uh, remember, uh, after you resolve this card's ability, you cannot smash a monster for the extra deck yeah. for the rest of the turn, but you summon Mechaba first, so it doesn't matter. So you need Deer Servant. You're going to send your Apcolone uh, to the graveyard. Okay. And for those who don't know what Apcolon does when it goes to the grave, you can add a Shadal Spell or Trap. Exactly. Uh, you're going to search Maximus off the Deer Servant. Now, now uh, Apcolon is in Resolve. You're going to add the Shizm. You're, you're going to add the Shizm mm -hmm. from your deck to your hand. Discard the Shizm, which is really good. Now, you're going to special the Maximus mm -hmm. by banishing, of course, uh, the El Shadal Apcolon right here, which is really good. Now, you're, now you're going to activate Maximus' ability to send two extra deck monsters to the graveyard. You're going to extra send Titanic Clyde. 
and also should all construct to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Send these two. Construct sends them sent to the graveyard. We'll get a trigger office effect to add the Shadal Shizm mm -hmm. from your graveyard to your hand. And this will pretty much round off for your end board. It's like, it doesn't look like it's some sort of fancy combo. It's very simple. You get to set the, uh, the Shizm and then pretty much end your turn. So this doesn't look like anything too complicated. But during the end phase, the Tentacle will get its ability to activate its effect to special summon Ecclesia directly from your deck. Once Ecclesia is summoned, Ecclesia mm -hmm. will get a, her ability yeah. to add Fleur de Lis directly from your deck to your hand. So right here, automatically you have one negate, two negate, and three negates with Winda. And also, and I'll explain uh, something, mm -hmm. uh, you know, later on. But this is your end board right here, uh, which is really great. Just yeah. off two cards. And you can also play around hand traps as well. And the follow-up play is just absolutely insane. So And you summon the window, yeah? So that. So then during your opponent's turn, yeah, you mm -hmm. can activate this. You can banish the this and also the construct. Summon window right here. Against Animan Speeders, you automatically just win the duel. Uh, and you also have Alistair. Mm -hmm. Just protect uh, your window from getting easily ran over. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. Lightning Storm says hello. Doesn't do anything to window. Yeah. Uh, which is really, really good. And this is... And this is and this is like a Veiler, right? Yeah. Right. So then let's say your opponent tries to activate effect. You can just activate Fleur Delete. Especially in this card from your hand. Oh. Negate any monster on the field. You have a common negate, which is really great. And... Um, well, it's only two cards. And it's off two cards. This is your end board right here. Off two cards. Uh, next turn, you put everything to attack. Yeah. And this card bumps every... Um, every um, thing. Sorry, yeah, he, this card bumps. Honestly, window should be. Yeah, 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 window should be here, actually. Yeah. Um, this card bumps every. Uh, Dogmatica? Dogmatica monsters by 500. So just yeah. 3k, 2000, 2000 permanently. Wow. So, by the way, so you, next turn you do this, and then you just go Alistair. Uh, you search Invocation, activate Invocation, banish Alistair, Almirage, uh, Perka Trio. Yeah, OTK. And then you activate Maximus. Um, and you act and then yeah, and then you activate Maximus. Well, if you want, you can just uh, add Alistair back to your hand by shuffle back invocation. So re add that to your hand, and you activate Maximus, send Entis, and also Skull Knight. Entis will pop a card, you banish Skull Knight, pop a monster, and this is your end board. You came. That is that you is know? really good, bro. And the crazy thing is, that those two cards, and the other three could have been Ash, Imperm, <laughs> exactly. Droplet, like Veil is really good, exactly. Called by. So this this is a nice nice deck. I like it. Wow. I like it. Yeah. Well, all I gotta say is that combo is amazing. It's and good. Uh, anything else you want to say about the deck or about the video? I think that has huge potential. Uh, very good. It's gonna be definitely a contending deck uh, for the uh, the meta game. A hundred percent. It's very consistent. And yeah, I think that's fire. Any deck that can play fifteen hand traps is a pretty nice deck. Yeah. Hey, that, that's a fact. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Steven for having me on the channel. Check out my channel if you guys haven't already. Just started YouTube recently. <laughs> We're almost at 300,000 subscribers, so we're going, <laughs> going there strong. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Steven, get your playmat today. Best playmat in the game, baby. Down below. And your boy Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>